Today we're going to make an APA style table. And so I'm going to show you how to make something that looks like this. But we're going to start in a Word document with a table grid layout. So starting out in a Word document, I'm going to go to Tables. And in Tables, you have this new table option. Now before you can make a table, you need to know how many columns you're going to need. Rows are easy to add later. But I always plan for my number of independent variable groups plus two. So if I had four levels of treatment of my IV, I would do six columns across. And I can just do four rows, click that, and you'll produce this. After typing in all my information, I have something like this. And you'll notice I left this blank column here. And we'll use that later for some easy spacing. Now we're missing a couple bits of information, and the first one I noticed we're missing is an, a label identifying what these dosages are. And so we need to highlight the top row, right click, and insert rows. And if you're given an option, insert rows above. And that's going to give you that row above. And if you highlight the four spaces above the dosages in the control group and hit merge, there's the merge button. You can also right click and merge often. And that's going to fuse all those together. And then you can add in your information. We're also going to need a place for our inferential statistics data. That can be added to the bottom. So if I go to the bottom right cell right there and put my cursor there and then hit tab, it's going to give me this extra row here. And into that space, I'm going to put my inferential statistics test, the appropriate test statistic, which in this case, the case of ANOVA, it's an F value, degrees of freedom between and degrees of freedom within. Also add my P value in that rightmost column. And then to get an alpha symbol, you need to go to insert, symbol. I use the symbol browser. All the versions of Word are a little different. And then that symbol right there. There's your alpha symbol. Click that. It's going to insert it and then you can put in what your alpha equals. So there it is. That's all the information you need. Now we have to format this table. So the first thing I'm going to do to format the table is to highlight the information I want centered. Go to align and center that. Center it vertically and horizontally. Then I'm going to give the labels on the left some room by moving this margin here over to the right. And then I want to add some space between those numbers. As APA is written right now, you can add about a half a space to a full text line space between each. And so I'm just going to, oh, I forgot. I added in our unit there, weeks. Now I'm going to drag this line down to give us some space, and this is a really nifty trick. You highlight the rows that you want to space out, right click, distribute rows evenly, and that's going to just make every row the same width. And you can see I've got a nice little spacing in there now. This might be almost too much. So you certainly don't want any more spacing than this. The next thing I'm noticing is that these labels on the left are not aligned. And so we need to go to align, center them left. So we still want them to the left, but centered vertically. Next thing I noticed that looks a little funky is we've got this odd unfilled block up there. And so we want to get rid of that. So I'm going to highlight both those cells, merge them together, and then realign that center left. Now the descriptive information is looking good, so I want to deal with some of the inferential information. So these uh, F values and degrees of freedom are really cramped down here, so I'm going to merge those cells together. And then use the shortcut control plus the number 5 to space them in half spacing. And so that gives you an idea of what half spacing is. Now let's tackle getting these borders to look like an APA table. And so first I'm going to highlight everything. Go to borders. Um, there's lots of ways to get to the borders and shading options. It's very different on all the programs. 
but um, I want to get rid of these vertical lines. And so if I just do the central vertical line, this is what I'm going to get. But I don't want those lines on the side either. And so I'm going to highlight everything again, go back to borders, and get rid of those to the outer lines. And once I've unclicked those, this is what I have. Now I still want to get rid of the lines in here. Those lines shouldn't be there. And so I'm going to highlight those cells. This time I'll show you what it looks like with a right click. So go to Borders and Shading. Under Borders, I'm getting rid of the inner border. And there we go. That looks like an APA table to me. Now we just need to write in the title and the table identification. One last thing you may want to do with spacing before we add in the title information is um, sometimes it looks a little funny with that nice spacing having that right up against that line. And so to get rid of that, to add a little space in there, one thing you can do is to highlight that row, insert rows above it, and then that's a lot of space. So you would want to then go in and make that a tiny font, like maybe four, I think is what I set this to, and it shrinks that space down. Um, not a big deal either way, it saves you a step to leave it right up against the line. So finally, if you go up to where you started and you put your cursor in that upper left box at the very beginning and hit enter, you should be able to get a space up there where you can write table and some sort of identification one two three four I just put an X there and then you'll want to space down double spacing here and then add in your title and you'll notice that that is italicized and it's single spacing within the title so there's a double space here single spacing within the title and then the last thing must musculus the name of the mouse normally should be italicized so in italics Generally, you see it written unitalicized, so highlight it, take it out of italics, and there you go. You've done it. You've created your APA formatted table. It's a lot of steps, but once you learn the tools, it's not very intimidating. I know you can do it.